Hi guys, welcome to a video diary. It's been a while. Um, I wanted to come on and <laughs> just chit chat since my rice is cooking right now. I'm making arroz con leche for my husband and I. It's like, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's, it's white steamed rice and you mix it with, um, so I boil it with a cinnamon stick and then you mix it with um, some, this is called lechera. It's like, it's condensed milk. It's really sweet. It's like, it's really thick, like syrupy, but it's real sweet. And um, so it's, it's a substitute for sugar, obviously. Um, <laughs> you just pour that baby in there and you won't need any sugar in your rice. Um, and then um, also a can of the um, evaporated milk, which is also sweet in itself. Like when my mom makes her recipe, she just uses a can of evaporated milk and then some regular milk and then she'll add her own sugar if she wants to. But um, my mother-in-law's recipe, which is my husband's mother, um, she says she puts a can of this and this. It's super sweet. And then you can add milk if you like your, um, your arroz con leche to be more like watery or if you like the thick consistency of it then you just leave it as is so um i like a kind of a an in-between my mom used to make it very watery because she would only use the evaporated milk and so um i like it that consistency because you could pour it in a mug and kind of like drink it and eat it <laughs> in a way so it's really good um and it's a sweet 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 breakfast um and then i also add just a little bit of vanilla to to just add some vanilla flavor to the whole thing. So it's a very sweet breakfast, but it's really delicious and it's super easy to make. Um, so this morning, my I think my timer's gonna go off in a couple seconds. I have two and a half minutes, okay. So if you hear the timer, it's because my rice is ready. Um, so yesterday I went to Barnes and Noble, my most guilty pleasure, aside from like buying clothes. So I went to Barnes & Noble because I finished season four of um, Outlander and I love the season, you guys, I'm obsessed with it. I cry with it, I love it. I think the romance is, it can be a bit much at times, like it's a lot of romance, but I also freaking love that. So <laughs> I just really, um, I'm really excited and the season, two, um, season five is gonna start up in February. So I'm just, you know, patiently waiting. But since we have about four months to till February, um, I figure maybe I will attempt to read the actual series. So the series itself, I think it's going to be a total of nine books. It could be even more than that. I think right now there's seven, there's seven books out. Um, I think seven or eight. I don't know. I was, I've been watching like reviews on non-spoiler reviews but I pretty much like if you're caught up to season four like I'm not sure how far in the book series season four goes into but I've been watching the reviews on um on YouTube there's a couple booktubers that I like to watch and so <laughs> I was watching their um reviews on the book and so I was really intrigued and I went out to Barnes and Noble and I bought the book now I am um a fan of paperback fiction and they had two different sizes so they had this size of the paperback and then they also had like the smaller paperback size like probably like literally that big um and the smaller paperbacks were like six seven eight hundred pages and these are they these only go up to six these only go up to 600 so the, the smaller paperbacks were like 800 900 pages and um I don't know, I, I, to me, I like to have a bigger font to read. I think it probably just goes hand in hand with the fact that I wear glasses and I can't see. <laughs> so um, having a little bit of a larger font to read with is easier for me and I don't mind holding on to a big paperback book, like I prefer it. So I was kind of like torn between should I get the small paperback, it's only $9, or should I pay double and get the bigger size? So I ended up just getting the bigger size because I figured when I read paperback, if I'm reading the smaller one, if it's a big, chunky, um, a ch big, chunky paperback book, uh, it's very intimidating. Like when I was trying to read it, I was just super intimidated because that page is well, that book is well over a thousand pages and it's just like, that's a lot of, of reading. And as opposed to something like this, you know? So, let me just get my rice. Let me move this over here so you guys can see. <laughs> 
so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so that's what I was doing. And um, I think I'm gonna take the little cinnamon sticky out. I've seen some people that keep it in there, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it in there. I think I'm gonna take it out. So yeah, you guys, that's what I did. I was at um, I was at Barnes and Noble and just looking at the book series and just thinking like, oh, do I wanna um, do I wanna read it? Do I wanna give it a shot? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> like, why not? So that's what I did. And pour this. I have to keep the fling, keep it on low. So stir this. So yeah, this is the way my mom, when my mom makes it, it's this consistency. Like she just pours the can of evaporated milk in there. And then um, it's like a watery consistency. That's how, she, that's, that's how my mom makes it. And then she just leaves it like that. I think she pours, she, she puts some cinnamon in it. I, I boiled the cinnamon stick in the the sweet rice or in the rice but um my mom just pours like powdered cinnamon and um this would this would basically basically be her version of the sweet rice <laughs> but um i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it the way my mother-in-law makes it because it's for my husband so and I, I mean, I like the way his mom makes it, so. So why not? Why not? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do it the way he likes it. How she does it. <laughs> Plus, I like the idea of not having to add sugar because this is already super sweet. So. So see, like, this consistency, it's like really thick <laughs> and it's super sweet. So I'm gonna do it half can and taste it because the last time I made some, mm, the last time I made some with this, I didn't use the whole, I mean, I used the whole can, but I used more rice, like I made more rice. And this time I didn't do the entire rice recipe. So I'm gonna put the flame up a little bit higher so I can heat up. Mm. So actually the consistency on this isn't super thick. You guys can see that. It's still pretty watery. There's like a piece of the cinnamon stick right there. <laughs> so I kind of like that. I like that. I like it like that. Like I like it that kind of consistency. His mom says just a little bit of vanilla. And like, I guess like with this, I could always pour some um, cinnamon powder on it, but I'm gonna leave it as is because it, the whole rice boiled with the cinnamon stick, so it, it literally smells like cinnamon. It smells so good. And then that's it. Now, let's say this came out super thick. Um, then what my mother-in-law says you could do is add milk and just get it to a consistency that you like, but this is actually perfect. So I want to try a little bit to see if this is sweet enough. Where did my spoon go? <laughs> oh, duh, it's in here. <laughs> Let me wash this out. I just want to make sure this is sweet enough. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth and then see, ooh, it's hot. Mmm, mmm, a little bit more.
I think this batch came out way better than my first try. <laughs> my first try was like a little bit of a disaster. I don't think I'm, I wasn't used to cooking so much rice and um, I'm usually cook, used to cooking a cup of rice and I thought, oh, maybe I'll, if I make extra, we'll have like extra to heat up the next couple days. And <laughs> I think because I made so much rice, I didn't put enough water in, so the rice didn't cook all the way. So it was kind of a disaster. <laughs> mm, okay. This is perfect. Yum. So yeah, you guys, that's how I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit on a low, 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 low flame. Super, super low flame, like almost turned off to keep it warm. And then <laughs> this way my honey can finish getting ready and then we can eat. Bubs, Bubs, the rice is ready when you're ready. So anyways, um, so yeah, so I'm gonna give the Outlander a try. Um, <coughs> and I have my own copy, like I could have just checked it out from the library, but um, because it's my own copy, it's like I could take my own time and I don't have to feel rushed to read it um, because it's a popular series right now, so people are checking it out. So anyways, so there's that, and I got the one, <laughs> I had to get the one with, with the characters from the actual show, because I love Jamie. I think he's so handsome. Um, and then I picked up a little, a cute little bookmark. It says, um, live, love, and llama. Super cute, and I just thought the llama was super cute with his little black glasses. It kind of reminded me of me. <laughs> so I have a little bookmark for my books. And yeah, so I'm gonna be starting that probably today. I'm also gonna read it alongside the cult fiction that I'm reading that I was telling you guys about in another video um, because I'm really liking that book. And YA fiction is so easy to read. Like I could fi finish a YA book in like a couple days to a week um, because they're just, it's an easy read. It's brain, like it's literally a brainless, brainless, mindless. Like you don't have to think when you're reading it, you just read it. I love YA fiction for that fact because it's just so simple. But YA fiction does feel, the older I get, it, the more juvenile the YA fiction feels. And so <laughs> I like to read a select few types of books like the cult fiction. I'll read that for YA. Um, or like a broken heart kind of a story or drug addiction, things like that for YA. But as far as like it being so-and-so's first day of high school and they're with their girlfriends and they meet a boy like, eh, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really go for those kind of YA fiction. Um, I like more of like the disastrous ones. So, so yeah. And then the other thing I wanted to show you guys is the Magical Herb Oracle. So this is actually the Oracle deck that is making a debut in my daily message um read daily message posts on instagram so a lot of you guys have been commenting asking what is the name of the deck and stuff and so i'm gonna have to start i'm gonna have to start getting in the habit of including the name of the two decks in every single post even though i'm posting once a day every for the whole month um some of you guys only catch like one post out of the whole month or whatever like not everybody is like consistently checking out my my content. So I have to remember that. So just because one person asks in one post doesn't mean you guys are all gonna know what deck it is every single time it's posted. So I need to get myself in the habit of including the decks that I'm using. So I'm, I apologize for, for that. that. That could be quite frustrating and annoying and I know that for a fact because when I wanna know a, a name of a deck that I see someone else using, it's kinda like, uh. <laughs> So yeah, um, so the one that I've been using is the Magical Herb Oracle. I found this copy at Barnes & Noble. It was very, very cheap. I think it was only like 15 bucks or something like that. Hey, honey. Hello. And so um, it's, it's done, it just stirred up and then I have it on a really, really low flame so we could just pour it bowls and it's good. Um, so anyways, you guys, the, so this is the, the deck I'm using and I picked this one up at Barnes & Noble, so. Look at the card backs, like beautiful floral. I love 
the floral look of it. It's so springy, but it's also kind of like, has like that wintry fall vibe to it too. I think it's just the color scheme of the deck. So I wanna do um, a video where I show off the deck um, because a lot of you guys have not seen this one before. And I plan to do that, but I just wanted to say, yes, it is the Magical Herb Oracle. That's the one I'm using for my daily message posts. So a lot of you guys are asking those questions. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and head out. I just wanted to come on here, you know, ramble with you for a little bit while I was preparing the rice. And um, I'm going to go have breakfast with my honey now. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, loves. <laughs>